Most AI-generated images look pretty amazing until you try to use them inside of a presentation. They're usually pretty full of impossible details, the wrong scale, or design choices that don't really align with your concept. The workflow that we're about to go over, it solves that problem. We're gonna move from a messy idea into a refined, presentation-ready image. All the links and free starter prompts can be found in the description below. Step one is to clean up your design idea so you can target exactly what you want Midjourney to create. ChatGPT is a pro at this. You can also do a lot more with ChatGPT. Check out the link to my ChatGPT AI tutorials for architecture in the description below. Head over to chatgpt.com and copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Scroll down until you see the brackets and then replace whatever is inside the brackets with what you want in your image. Let's start with the my concept is. This is the only required part of this prompt. Highlight everything in the bracket and replace it with your concept. I'm gonna fill this out as if I was an architect talking to my client. It's a couple with two children and they live in Golden, Colorado. We've always dreamed of a home that feels both rugged and refined. Something that sits quietly among the aspens but opens up to the mountains with glass and weathered steel that frame the view like an artwork. We imagine a structure where heavy timber and weathered metal blend seamlessly with stone terraces and a creek that cuts right through the property. The house should feel warm and grounded for a family of four with spaces that invite the outdoors in. Open, flexible, and built to evolve with the seasons. If you have any optional details or notes, I would write it here. Typically, you won't have to fill this one out, but if there is something very, very specific that you wanna see, I would place it here. For instance, I like architectural elements that are dynamic and movable. So I'm going to type some dynamic and movable architectural elements. For architectural style, because we're in Colorado, I think it's fitting that we do Olsen Kundig style home. For materials, I'm going to say concrete, weathered steel, glass, stone, and heavy timber. For the lighting and time of day, I'm going to simply put midday. For the camera angle, I'm going to use exterior wide shot because I want it to look like a photograph taken from the exterior of the home to capture the entire home in the photograph. For mood or context, you can choose any of these or use your own, or a good default option is to leave this one blank, and ChatGPT will decide for itself what kind of mood or context you want. Let's go ahead and leave this bracket blank so we can see how ChatGPT will interpret it. For climate, this is where you can choose what season you're in, or if there's any type of weather that you would like to have in your image. For example, raining, snowing, a storm. I'm simply gonna put clear, bright, sunny day in the summer. For the entourage, you can tell ChatGPT if you wanna include a lot of vegetation or people walking around or occupying the space. For this exterior shot of the home, I'm not gonna include any entourage, but I still think there should be a lot of natural vegetation. So I'm gonna type natural vegetation. For the output image ratio, I'm gonna do 16 by nine for that wide shot. At the top of the prompt, you'll notice it says, if there are attached images to this entry, then use them as a reference to the design language and atmosphere. If there are any inspirational images that you found on the web and you really like the way they look and you want ChatGPT to interpret them and include them in the prompt, you simply click this plus sign, add photos and files, and upload your inspiration images. I'm not gonna use any for this prompt, but you're welcome to try that on your own. After you're done, press enter or the send icon. This is a prompt that ChatGPT output. Click this copy icon here or highlight it, right click and select copy. Step two, we're gonna use the refined prompt that we got from ChatGPT and we're gonna place that into Midjourney. This will create our image. Now head over to midjourney.com, click the create tab and at the top, paste in the prompt that ChatGPT created. Head over to the settings icon. You're not required to change the image size because we have included it in the prompt with this aspect ratio parameter, but if it's not included, you can select it here. Stylization is good around 100. Weirdness, I keep at zero, and variety, I keep at zero. Make sure you're using the latest version of Midjourney. After you're done, click the send icon or press enter. These are the four output images from Midjourney. If you hover over the prompt, you'll see you have four options down here. One of them is rerun. I always like to rerun the prompt at least three times so I have more choices to choose from. If you scroll down, you can see all the choices you have now. These are all really good, but you have to choose one. My favorite, and I think the most realistic, is gonna be this image here. Click into it so you can get a better view. If you like the image and you're done with it, click upscale, and this will create a higher resolution of the image. You can use subtle or creative, it doesn't make such a big difference, but if you want it to be pretty much exactly this one, just click subtle. When you click creative, there's a possibility it'll adjust some things. Here's a quick, super cool tip. 
In Midjourney, you can actually animate your images and it does everything for you. At the beginning of the video, you probably saw I had an animation of this image. You can actually create that by clicking this button right here, low motion. If you like this image a lot and you wanna have different variations of it to choose from, you can go to vary and click subtle or strong. Let's see what happens when I click subtle and what happens when I click strong. Like I said, subtle keeps the image pretty much intact. It'll change some things like this part on the right and it also changed the mullions and the roof line slightly. But if you use the strong variation, it'll retain a lot of the original architectural elements, colors, and materials, but it will alter the building quite significantly. This is my favorite image, and I'm gonna click Upscale Subtle. Click into the image that's been upscaled and click this download icon on the top right. Step three, if you like your image, you can stop right there. But for the final step, we're gonna transform the image that Midjourney created into something presentation ready. Midjourney isn't the best at editing images, but this is where Google's Nano Banana works very well. Now head over to aistudio.google.com for Nano Banana. Click chat on the left hand side in the top right and search for Nano Banana and select the Nano Banana model. Now in the prompt at the bottom, click this plus icon and upload the image that Midjourney created. Nano Banana is actually really powerful and you can use the cheat sheet I created linked in the description below to do a lot more things. You can turn your building into a 3D model. You can change the landscaping. You can create an ad cutout entourage. You can change the image perspective or the POV. You can change the image style or the aesthetic, or you can create a mood board using this image. To make this a more striking image, I wanna add more entourage, and I want the aspens to look golden as if they're changing due to the season. Simply type in what you want Nano Banana to change or edit. After you're done, hold Control and press Enter, or click the Run icon in the bottom right. And this is the output from that prompt. I wanna change it so it's in the middle of winter. At the bottom, you can re-edit the image and just type what you want again. After you're done typing in your edit, hold Control and press Enter, or click the Run icon. And this is the output from that prompt. You can also change the time of day to get a dusk shot. I'm gonna type in change the time of day to dusk, and the interior of the home should feel warm and inviting. Hold control and press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. Thank you for watching until the end. In the description of this video is a link to the Nano Banana Cheat Sheet made specifically for architecture. It contains hundreds of words and several pre-made prompts that will instantly elevate your work to the next level. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this. If you want to support the channel further, check out the Patreon. It's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.